it was easy, um, even from the beginning, to know that you know, registries and registrars and so forth should be a part of ICANN and should have a, a role to play in the decisions that it made. But it was not at all clear what, if any, role uh, individual internet users, the at, what has come to be called the at-large, would be represented. And if we go all the way back to 2000, ICANN actually conducted uh, what was the first and very definitely the last um, open election for five board seats, one from each of the five geographic regions. When Nia and I were both on the board together a couple of years later, we were uh, two of the originally five and ultimately winnowed down to three uh, members of the Evolution and Reform Committee that uh, was tasked with carrying out the consequences of what our second CEO, um, uh, Stuart Lynn, had identified as a, uh, an organizational crisis that was going to prevent ICANN from uh, continuing to fulfill its mission. Uh, Alejandro Passanti was uh, another member of that committee, as were Hans Kreienbrink and uh, Phil Davidson. And we had to tackle the issue of the at-large because, of course, we'd had this election and it was widely considered to have been less than a resounding success, um, notwithstanding the fact that it was completed and it did seat five directors. Um, and in the process of looking at the at-large, it was Thanks. There was almost a rebound from the election experience, and it was not until the, the last few iterations on the new bylaws, the reform bylaws, which were eventually approved in 2003, that we actually had a fully formed at-large advisory committee at the advisory committee level.